think it cut me off because it just became midnight here and I have um, screen limits set up on my phone to where um, at a certain hour, basically my phone tells me, take your ways to bed. And that's probably what, what happened is it was telling me to get off YouTube. But we're back YouTube. Um, okay, great. So as I was saying, right, um, within your bank, okay, within your bank profile, the more deposits that you have, the activity that you have, right, specifically in terms of money going into your account, this contributes to a certain analytical rating that your bank will look at, okay? This is what contributes to how many offers they give you. So yes, they're checking your personal credit sometimes to determine what offers they're giving you. But in addition to that, when it comes to certain lending products, loans, higher limit business credit cards, and et cetera, what contributes to that is they're looking at the activities in your account. So <clears throat> this is why as much as you can, you want to be representing what you're making in your account. So the cash, set up your deposit days. If you are still using Cash App or whatever, make sure that that money is going into your business bank account, even if you'd have to deposit it in cash. And then the sooner you can switch over to things like Stripe, Square, and et cetera, now you have payment processors going on. Exactly. So the five accounts are in one bank. Okay, so if you're with Chase, B of A, whatever, whatever is your main account where most of your money comes in, that's where you want to set up your five accounts, okay, so that you can order it properly. I told you guys to have relationships with different banks, but you don't have to set, a, set up five accounts with all the banks you're with, especially if you're not really using them on a daily consistent basis, okay? So this is going to make sure you have more clean statements. It's going to increase your bank rating. You're going to have an easier time getting funding. And beyond that, you're going to really be able to see how much your business is making and how much your business is spending, okay? So, because we want to make profit, right? Again, revenue and profit are very, very different. So when it comes to paying yourself, y'all, we got to do this the right way. Because some of y'all just be, you know, your business makes money and you're like, oh, this is my money. And you just transfer it to your personal account or whatever. And we're at the mall. Or we're on, where y'all be shopping? Uh, Amazon. Or we're at Target. You know, your business's money is not your money. I'm going to say that again. And know it, I know it stings, I know it hurts, but this is the best lesson I can give you so that you can stay wealthy. Your business's money is not your money. Let's just have a moment of silence on that because I know, okay. Mm -hmm. I know that's a tough pill to swallow. Okay, it was hard for me. Um, your business's money is not your money. It's your business's money. And it's, and it's also kind of the IRS's money. Okay, so we want to make sure. It doesn't mean you can't pay yourself from your business. But your business's money is not yours. So you have to follow a process to pay yourself from your business, okay? I'm trying to save y'all so that we can all be wealthy eating steak and lobster on Turks and Caicos in 2025, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't wanna go to Turks and Caicos by myself. I wanna bring my business besties. I wanna bring y'all, my students. So for those reasons, I gotta make sure that y'all get it together, okay? So how you're gonna pay yourself the right way? If you still have an LLC, as in like you don't have an S Corp, you're just an LLC, comment LLC in the chat. Comment LLC in the chat. I know, you do work hard. We work hard and I'm very proud of you, but it's still not your money, okay? So we're gonna go over it though, because the sooner we can start to structure this better, 
then you're going to see more money stay in your business, which also means that there's more that you can leverage in your business to grow. All right, so first we're gonna start with how to pay yourself as an LLC, because it is different from, <clears throat> excuse me, the second method. So as an LLC, when you pay yourself, it is called an owner's draw, okay? Comment that in the chat, owner's draw, all right? It is called an owner's draw. And so what that means is you are assigning yourself an owner's draw <coughs> that is a certain percentage of what your business makes. So uh, generally payroll should be 20 or 25% of what the business is making. Now, depending on how much your business makes and how much you need to pay yourself, you might have to take a much larger owner's draw, okay? But ideally, your payroll expenses should be between 20 and 25%, all right? And we'll touch on that in a bit. But that is called an owner's draw. Now, when you're taking an owner's draw, and remember one of the accounts I told you owner's draw, and remember one of the accounts I told you guys about is your payroll, or guys about is your payroll or payments to either yourself or your team. You have to make payments to either yourself or your team. You have to make sure that this is documented. Sometimes y'all want to take an owner's draw where you just transfer the money to your personal account or you just go to the bank and take out the cash, but it has to be documented. So a couple ways to do an owner's draw the right way. Number one, yes, transfer it to that payroll account and then pay yourself either by check, um, pay yourself by going to the bank and having them make the transfer. Lastly, you can just make the transfer in your phone, but I want you to make sure that you document it on QuickBooks or a spreadsheet, what some place where you keep a record of all the owner's draws that you're taking, okay? okay? And again, it gives you that consistency of you are giving your statements when a lender is asking you about these things, because sometimes they will ask you, how much do you make from the business as the owner, as the CEO? And you have to be able to explain how much you make from the business, right? So doing it on a consistent basis and a consistent amount and making sure that if you have QuickBooks, you're documenting it. If you don't, that you're using a spreadsheet and you're documenting it, okay? This is really, really important. Same amount, same day of the week if you can, right? That is key. And that's what's going to help you prepare for the next level of payroll, which is when, I don't know why it keeps freezing you too, but yes, this is gonna be saved. Um, that helps prepare you for the next level of payroll, which is when you become an S-Corp, okay? Everybody comment the words S-Corp in the chat. Comment S-Corp in the chat. YouTube, hold on, let me check one thing. Okay, yes, we are, oops, on Wi-Fi. All right, YouTube, comment S Corp in the chat. IG, comment S Corp in the chat. YouTube, I use a VPN, so I don't know if the VPN is why it's freezing, but just bear with me, sorry. I turned it off, so hopefully that'll just connect it to the Wi-Fi. Um, S Corp, all right? So real quick, there's a whole bunch of tax benefits to electing to be fi I'm sorry, electing to be taxed as an S Corp. So when you become an S Corp, you're not filing a new entity. The LLC that you have right now, you are going to fill out a form. It's due every year by March 15th. So it's coming up where you're essentially telling the IRS that you elect to be taxed as an S Corp because it saves you some tax benefits, a lot actually. And being an S Corp as well allows you to pay yourself on payroll, okay? So we're gonna talk about all the benefits in the challenge 
Um, the tax day is actually day four of the financial freedom challenge. So don't worry, y'all. This is an intro to get you guys some of these like core basic concepts. But when we're in the challenge on day four, we're going to go over this like in full completely documents and all the other tax write-offs that you need as well. Okay. You guys are also going to get the spreadsheets that you can use to just add into your business. All right. So Electing to be taxed as an S-Corp doesn't mean you don't need a new entity. You don't need another EIN. It's still the same LLC. Now you just have a different tax status. So with this tax status, you can put yourself on payroll. Okay. And this is when you really start to be like, oh, I have a business. This is cute. Because let me tell you guys something. When you start getting direct deposits from your business to your personal account and the name on the direct deposit is your business, can't nobody say You're like, I really pay myself. Come here, I pay myself in the chat. Because when you really be yourself, can't nobody tell you nothing. Comment, I pay myself in the chat. Like you are in position to put you, to give yourself a raise. You are in position to, you know, just sign your own checks. When I get my direct deposits, that's my company. That's me. Who, who work for who? Who? Who works for who? I work for myself. Okay? I'm telling y'all, it is the best feeling. And I can't wait for you to have that feeling. Okay. I refreshed my thing, YouTube, so we should be good. Um, but so boom, you get to be, you get to hire yourself on payroll. Okay. Now, generally, <coughs> you should elect to be taxed as an S corp when your business is um, hitting 40,000 or 50,000 in revenue, okay? So you don't really have to wait a long time. You don't have to be a million dollar business before you elect to be taxed as an S corp. It just makes the most sense once you have passed the $50,000 mark because the tax benefits make sense at that time. Like you're making more, so you wanna pay less in taxes so it makes sense at that threshold to elect to be taxed as an S corp. So if you're not there yet, you may not want to file by March 15th. But if you are on your way to that, it might be a good idea and definitely consult with a tax professional or when you come to the challenge um, that day of class. Hi. When you come to the challenge that day of class, definitely ask in class because that class will have a CPA, one of my CPAs in the class, okay? So you can ask there too. Um, but that's usually the threshold. So once you become an S-Corp, y'all, now you put yourself on payroll and give yourself a full salary where you have direct deposits to your personal account either on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, whatever you decide. So every... Friday or every other Friday, your business is paying you. Now, some other great things about being an S Corp, right? Some other great things about being an S Corp. Not only are you paying yourself on payroll, but I want you guys to think about all the different benefits that you get when you get a job. Don't you usually get health care? Don't you also usually get things like um, gym? Or, well, depending, right? In LA, a lot of jobs give you a gym stipend. Um, sometimes you get childcare cost stipend. You also might get a phone bill stipend, just depending on what you need to, to do in that, in that role. So when your company becomes an escort, you also can provide these benefits to yourself as an employee of your company. So this is why when people say that they're afraid to leave their job and start, <clears throat> excuse me and start a business because they don't want to lose their health care, I want you guys to understand something. <coughs> Excuse me. 
You can give yourself health care through your business. Yes, there's a little bit of a period, right, between when you leave your job to when you start making money to be able to, you know, uh, elect to be taxed as an S corp. But don't let that be what holds you back or makes you think that you are not going to be able to achieve in your business. Because again, you can give yourself those same benefits. Your company can cover your healthcare costs. Your company can give you a childcare stipend. Your company can cover things like life insurance. Your company can provide you with a phone stipend, right? All these different things that once you elect to be taxed as an S Corp, your company has the ability to put in position for you and you being the, the person on payroll, right? The employee of your company, you being the employee of your company, you get to reap all those benefits. So you're essentially designing this employment package for yourself. <laughs> Drop a gem in the chat if y'all like it. Drop a gem in the chat if y'all like that. Yes, drop a gem in the chat if y'all like it, okay? So you can essentially, right? Yes, let me allow. Oh. Okay, boom. Um. Yes, you're going to design all these benefits packages for yourself. And, and we love to see it. Okay, you're going to design all these benefits packages for yourself. So this, the second way that you're paying yourself, right? We've covered an owner's draw. You know that when you're an LLC, the way that you're going to pay yourself is by setting a certain amount on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, but you have to make the transfer yourself, right? It's, it's not automatic because you're not using a payroll system, okay? You wanna make sure you document the owner's draw that you're taking. Now, when you become an S Corp, which may be in some of y'all's very near future, when you become an S Corp with your business, you are going to pay yourself on payroll, okay? You are going to pay yourself on payroll. And with that, you're going to use systems like Gusto, ADP. If you've ever had a job, you've probably gotten checks from ADP, right? Now, in this case, when you're paying yourself, you are going to be getting the checks from ADP from your company, and it's just really giving bossed up. It's really giving can't tell me nothing. It's really giving financial freedom, right? So when you decide, as soon as your business starts to make more money, and you say, you know what? I've been working hard, right? What did our girl say in the chat? She was like, I work hard in my business. This is my money. Listen, sis, I feel you. But as soon as you decide that it's time for you to get a raise, you go ahead and give yourself a raise. As soon as you decide that, you know what, you don't want to be paid every two weeks, you want to get paid every Friday, you go ahead and change your payroll so that you get paid every Friday. You want to make sure you're on a one day or two day direct deposit, you go ahead and set it up. I want my money the next day. I want my money on time. Comment on time in the chat. I want my money on time. I want my business to pay me on time, okay? I want my business to pay me on time. So that's why these are so important, right? <laughs> what movie is that from, too? That's why these are so important in terms of understanding how you're going to pay yourself properly, right? This is going to make a big difference in how you, how much funding you're able to get. This is going to make a big difference in how much profit actually stays in your business. 
Because when you're paying yourself from your business and there's still money left over in the business, now what you have to spend as a business owner for your personal expenses is separate from what your business needs to spend for expenses for your business, okay? And this is why I tell you guys, your money, you know, your business's money is your business's money. Your business should pay you. You do not want to look at it as your business's money is your money because then how can your business grow? How can you reinvest in your business? How can you leverage your business? How can you start making more money in your business and setting up additional income streams, okay? So another point on your payroll is that, listen, when you start applying for loans, funding, et cetera, and when you're able to list, right, you always want to make sure, thank you so much, you always want to make sure that you list yourself when you're applying for a credit card, when you're applying for a loan, anything, list yourself as the CEO or the president or whatever the case is. Do not put owner, okay? The reason why is because the more separation that you can create between you and your business, the more confidence a lender has in lending to your business because they understand that you see your business as a separate entity from you. So, you know, lenders might not tell you this, but when you are applying to loans and funding, and if you're putting yourself as the owner, you're putting your own phone number um, as the business phone number, you're putting your home address as the address for the business, what are what is the lender thinking right they're thinking okay well this person is the same as their business right so they're going to put a lot more weight on things like your personal credit your you know uh habits your income your statements etc but you want to make sure when you're applying for funding and this is just a good habit overall that you are listing yourself as a ceo as a president some type of role in your business, that you have some kind of job in your business, but your business has its own business phone number, its own website, its own address, its own information that is separate from you as the CEO, as the president, as the uh, you know CFO, right? Whatever role you decide to list, that creates some separation, which is what you want. Right. The whole reason you're forming a business and you have a business entity is so that it is separate from your personal credit, your personal debt, your personal life, your personal name. You want to go ahead and keep the business over here and keep your stuff over here so that the more the business makes. Wonderful. Right. Also, the more debt the business has. Great. That has nothing to do with you. Okay, the more assets the business has, that's fantastic. But if somebody ever wants to mess with you, I don't own that. My company, like th this company, not even my company, this company owns that. So why are you looking over here at me? That's not mine. What did I teach you guys in our live before? Own nothing, control everything. Comment, own nothing, control everything. Own nothing, control everything. So this all leads up to you establishing assets in your business name. And then what? Putting your assets and that LLC into a holding company. And then what's next? Setting up a trust fund that owns all of that, right? Your trust fund owns the holding company. The holding company owns the LLC. The LLC owns the assets. And where are you in this equation? On Turks and Caicos with me eating steak and lobster. 
and your business is doing what the business does right so you guys you know all of you are in a period right now and every business when it starts you and your business are going to be like this right you have to work to make money in your business you know it requires you but the goal is to increase profit and reduce the amount of time you have to spend so the goal is to get your business to be functioning as far away from you so that all you do is receive a check, but your business is operating and making money, making profit, paying bills, paying teams, you have, you know, uh, staff, you have people working for you so that we can be on an island, you know, getting direct deposits every Friday. That is the goal. That is where we wanna go. That is where we wanna be with this business okay that is where we want to be and that's exactly why this financial freedom challenge is so robust right i created this five day six day summit for you to literally come in and commit to six days of simply getting your business to the point where it's making more money because that's the goal, right? So you're going to learn how to make six figures in digital product sales through digital marketing. You're going to learn how to make $50,000 in passive income this year. I'm not talking about doing this three years from now. Everything I teach you is something that you can execute on right away. So you're gonna learn how to make $50,000 this year and how to start doing it right away. And as well, how you are going to secure $50,000 and more depending on how much you need in funding okay so with those things together right plus of course we have a class on trust funds we have your class on taxes we have your class on investing right but with those things put together you are really in a position where you never have to even think about going back to being broke ever right whatever you're struggling with right now whatever your financial situation is right now, I just wanna speak over your life that these are your last few days of being in this position where money is an issue. This is coming to an end. This period of struggle and stress, God willing, it is coming to an end. And this Financial Freedom Summit, the reason I created it and put these things together in the way that I did is just so that you learn how to create more active income streams in your business through digital marketing and digital products. And you learn how to secure funding and you learn how to take that funding and turn it into passive income. <clears throat> because when you know how to make more money on the front end with your actual business, and when you know how to make more money on the back end with passive income, broke you know brokenness cannot get in because you're covered from the front <coughs> excuse me you're covered from the sides you're covered from the back you're covered on all fronts because you know how to make money and you know how to create income opportunities in all different ways so this live that we had today about your foundation about your accounts etc is so important because the, that foundation is what sets the precedent and the stage for when you join this challenge to really be able to execute on these things and start shifting. Like I said, whatever you're struggling with right now, I truly believe these are your last days. I truly believe these are your last days. These are your last days of struggle. These are your last days of stress. Somebody comment, I'm ready in the chat if you're ready. Comment, I'm ready in the chat if you are ready for these to be your last days. If you are ready to finally get to these $50,000 and $100,000 months and really understand that profit is possible for you in a real way, in a real way. You guys, you might know my story already. You know I started this business with a stimulus check in 2020. After divorce, 
living at my mom's house. I used to do DoorDash with my kids in the back seat. I still have my EBT card from that time because I always keep it as a reminder. Like really started from the bottom. And if I can absolutely do this in my life, I'm, I know you can, because it's not only me who has done it. So many of my students now have six and seven figure businesses from exactly what I'm telling you right now. So you're next. You are next. And that's why we're going to spend these six days together in the challenge to make sure that you get there. Because it's one thing for us to be on live, you know, this is great for an hour, right? But imagine what you can really achieve when we're in the class together, when you're on your laptop, when I'm telling you what to do, where to go, what to click, what to type, how to apply, what to put in this plan, what to type in your grant proposal, where, what website to go to to buy X, Y, and Z how to set this up so you can start making passive income, what system to use, the products, etc. So when I tell you guys, the reason I'm so confident that you will be able to graduate from this challenge and start making money through digital products and digital marketing is because one of the bonuses that I'm going to give you guys is a completely done for you digital product bundle. So I know you're gonna start making money with what I'm teaching you because I'm gonna give you the products to start selling. You're not gonna have to leave the challenge and then figure out how to design you know, a website, figure out how to create a digital product, figure out how to start a course. I'm giving you a full suite of digital products that are completely ready for you. All you're gonna do is change your colors if you want, add your name, add your logo, and you have the full resale rights to start selling and you keep 100% of the profits. So I make it, give it to you, teach you how to sell it, and then you go and start selling it right away. It belongs to you. It's, it's like Ellie in a box. And I, I really feel like that's my favorite part of this challenge, honestly. I'm excited to spend those days with you, but what's most exciting to me is the fact that you guys get this full done for you bundle. Somebody in here, a few people in here earlier were asking, how do you start selling digital products and the whole nine? <coughs> Don't even worry about how to make it. I got that for you. On the first day of the challenge, our VIP day on the 18th, which is what, 10 days away, that first day, you are literally going to go over how to set it up, where to put it, what to click, all the different things so that if you wanted to, at the end of that class, you can literally put the link in your bio and start selling. Comment now in the chat if you want your money now. <laughs> Comment now in the chat if you want to start making money now. Yes, it is like Ellie in a box. And I love that because, you know, this year I'm going to give birth to this baby, God willing. I'm going to spend a few months on maternity leave. And so as I was thinking about how to really make this challenge, this summit, you know, truly valuable, it came to me that this is the best additional bonus I can give you because when I'm away for those months, you still have that confidence and that piece of our summit where you can start making money because you're taking this with you. This belongs to you. I'm making it. I've already made them. And boom, they're going to go in your inbox for you to start selling, put your name on it, and you have full resale rights. You have full resale rights. So I want you guys to comment the word commit. If you can commit these six days to being in the summit with me and all the other students that are already signed up. Comment commit if you're ready to commit. Because what I'm doing right now, I'm just making sure I drop the price and that I extend the bonus. Because as you guys can see on my website, the done for you bonus expired like last night 
okay? But I'm going to add this bonus for the next 10 people so that you get all the perks of the challenge plus the bonus and all these other bonuses too. So let me make sure you guys understand. We're spending six days together. Day one is your digital marketing and digital products. Then we jump right into marketing and business strategy. This is what's going to help you with your business plan to get funding. Then we jump into passive income, how you're going to make that $50,000 that I'm telling you about. Then we jump into investments, how you're going to invest in your name and your business name to make more money. Then we jump into trust funds, how you are going to own nothing and control everything. And the last day of the challenge is the tax strategies, okay? So that's exactly what I told you, all the ways that you need to know how to not pay taxes legally is what we're covering in that class. So I want you guys to see all the bonuses you're gonna get, okay? Cause this is actually dope. Not only when you secure your ticket to the summit, you're getting the six days of classes. You're also getting my free passive income course. You're getting a free business plan template from me. You're getting my digital product workbook. You're getting a marketing template from me. You're getting 1000 chat GPT prompts that you can use in your business. Now you're getting a list of 1000 business grants. Y'all, I just added this yesterday. So you're getting a list of a thousand business grants that you can apply for in your business now. And you are getting my grant proposal templates. So this is also like Ellie in a box, okay? So if you're not the best writer or if you're not super confident with how to apply for grants, these templates are going to give you what to say and how to say it so that you can win these proposals, all right? Now you have two ways to join the summit. So as a VIP, you're getting all the bonuses I shared. You're getting all the bonuses instantly as soon as you sign up. You're getting the six days of classes, including the VIP. You're getting the done for you bundle, Q and A's and lifetime access to the replays. You can also join general admission, all right? Now what I've done for you guys today is the regular VIP price is normally $500 but I'm dropping it down um, to $397 so that you can get all those bonuses for that cost, y'all, it's insane. And then of course you can also join General just to get in the room. The General ticket price is $97. So give me one second, let me change the price. Okay, all right, it is updated. I actually just refreshed it, so we're good and hold on hold on hold on i'm going to show you guys exactly how to secure your seat so we're officially 10 days away we start on the 18th today is the 8th or the 9th i don't know we're either 9 or 10 days away y'all um but we're almost sold out of this challenge and like i mentioned i am only making this done for you digital product bonus available for the next 10 people Oh, someone just got it. So we have nine left. But I want to make sure that you guys get in the room. So join. General admission. Join VIP. All right, I'm dropping the link. Give me one second. Okay, boom. So there is the link. You guys have eight more seats. Congratulations to the second person who just got their seat to the summit. Um, so Instagram, here's all the bonuses. I shared with you guys, but I'm gonna show you where to go click, okay? So you're gonna go to my Instagram profile, click the link in my bio. That's gonna take you right here. You're gonna click on the five day challenge. YouTube, I dropped the link in the chat for y'all, okay? And you can see all the bonuses that I just read off to you. The done for you bundle is here. 
It does say it's run out, but I've already made it available for 10 more of you guys. So don't worry about that uh, timer. You're getting all these bonuses that I mentioned, okay? Completely done for you, full resale rights. And as soon as you guys get your seat, I'm gonna give you guys a second. As soon as you secure your seat, all the bonuses I told you about, you're gonna have them right away. So the list of a thousand grants, Oh, you guys can't hear me? What happened? Can you guys hear me? That's terrifying. Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, Crystal, can you hear me on Instagram now? Let me know. Child, that's, that's how it's how I know. When the information is, okay, hold on, IG. That's always how I know. I'm gonna start the IG over with. But that's always how I know. When the live is really good, the tech stuff just wanna be acting up. But you know what? The devil is a lie. And he will not mess with what we got going on okay he will not mess with it <laughs> so that's actually a good thing um youtube because most of the time Instagram gets all the tickets first to the challenge because there's always so many people in there. And this time, y'all get a major head start. So <coughs> let me show you guys the bonuses too. All right, you two. So when you all join the summit, as I mentioned, you're getting the full done for you uh, bundle. You are getting all these bonuses. I'm gonna turn my camera so you guys can see as well. Hey, Insta. Someone told me you guys couldn't hear me, so I started it over. But all these bonuses you guys are getting. So boom, the classes, the passive income course, the business plan template, digital product workbook, marketing template, 1,000 ChatGPT prompts to use right away, a list of 1,000 business grants, and the grant proposal template to help you write the grants, okay? So you have two ways to join. Of course, as a VIP, you're getting all these bonuses. That is the best value because it's insane, okay? Plus, you're getting the six days of classes, but... If you are someone who is like, you know what, girl, I just need to get in the room right now, join general and you can always upgrade to VIP, okay? Join general and you can always upgrade to VIP. But what I don't want you to do, the reason I made a general option available is because I recognize everyone's got something going on and the goal is financial freedom. And sometimes you might be in a season where it's like, girl, I might just be able to do this <coughs> $100 ticket, but I still want to become financially free. Come to the summit. Others of you are like, girl, I got to make sure I have all these bonuses. I have to make sure I have that done for you bonus. So you're going to join as a VIP. At the end of the day, this financial freedom is for all of you, okay? We have had some people secure their general ticket and then upgrade, um, which you still have time to do before we start the summit in 10 days, okay? Yes, I know. At a certain point, it's like, you get tired of, you know, and, and think about how many ways we spend $300 or how many ways we spend $100, right? So much of the time, the money that we're spending, as hard as we're working to make it, the money that we're spending is going to other people. It's going to buy something from a company where they make the money. It's going to buy something for someone else. It's going to pay a bill, okay? 
This Financial Freedom Summit allows you to be in charge of your life, of your finances, so that the money you start making as a result of this summit can actually be what goes back to you. We are working too hard to just be paying bills and, and binge shopping on Amazon or TikTok. We're working too hard for this. So when you can get all these bonuses, right, and start making $50,000 a month, $100,000 a month. I just want you guys to comment 100K a month. Comment 100K a month because I know it seems like such a big number and it is, but I want you to know how possible it is. Thank you, Kiki, y'all are so sweet. I really want you to comment this because my first goal was just to make 10K a month in my business. And it wasn't until, I don't know if I was watching a live or a YouTube video, someone said, 10K seems hard because that's where you're putting your limit. But I want you to understand how possible 100K is. And so then I started thinking, well, 10K is, you know, level. But 100K is just whatever you do to make 10K 10 more times. So if you can hit 10K, if you can hit 1K, then you can hit 10K. And with some different systems, you can do that 10 more times to hit 100K. And then you can hit a million in a month, right? I'm telling you confidently that what I will teach you will help you get to these 50 and 100K months because I've done it from a starting with a stimulus check. So it's not any particular amount of skill or, you know, something you have to go to school for in order to make this happen. You just need the right tools and you just need to be in a class focused and committed to getting it done at one time. That's why I'm excited for the summit because it's not like you're coming and getting the information and leaving. You're coming to class with a laptop, with your notebook, and I'm literally telling you, go to this site, do this, add this, save this, write this, don't do this, remove that, let me see, share your screen, so that by the time you leave, it's all set up and you're ready to go. That is the difference between just learning something and actually doing something, actually doing the work. Come on, um, Samiri. She said, I will make $100,000 in my business. Please write these affirmations down, y'all. I'm not, I would not be pumping you up to say 100K if I didn't believe you could do it. I know you can do it. I know you can. And digital products and digital marketing is one of the main things that is going to get you there. So this done for you bundle, I've been selling digital products for three years. I have not made less than six figures a month since January of 2021. Thank God. Knock on wood. I pray that God keeps blessing my business. It has been consistent. So if I can do it consistently, you can do it consistently. And understanding digital marketing systems, tools, and digital products is exactly what is going to help you do things. So that's why I put this done for you bunt in there because if I can give you a little piece of what has helped me to achieve that success so that you can have it in your business without having to stress about how to create it, where to put it, what to do, all that, Go start making money right away. Go start making money right away. Oh my gosh, okay. I got all excited speaking life into y'all and we have four seats left, okay? So the done for you bonus where you're getting all the products um, um, plus the strategy plus the full resale rights, we have four of those left. It's about 79 grants for February open, right? So join as a VIP to secure all those bonuses. You can also join general to get in the room. 
All right. Now, for real though, I'm going to pause and make sure you guys secure your seat. So I'm going to just not say anything for like two minutes. And thank you guys so much. YouTube, I'm dropping the link for you guys. And what I'm going to do is those of you who are securing your seat, I'm following here in my system and making sure that you guys have the done for you bundle as a part of your product. Okay, so I'm looking out. All right, so secure your seat as VIP or general. We now have three left. Congratulations, I just added the done for you bundle for your product. Welcome to the summit. Yes, you all too, congratulations. I just added it for you. Welcome to the summit. Hi, Jalen. Yes, so if you join as general, you don't get all the bonuses um, or any of them, but you do still get your uh, workbook. You get all five days, okay? You don't get that VIP bonus day, but joining general is still a great way to get in the room, okay? The last thing I want you to do is see all my screenshots from the summit and be like, dang, I should have just got my 97 and secured my seat, okay? <laughs> so even if you join as general and you still want the bonuses, you can always upgrade to VIP. But what I don't want to happen is for these seats to sell out and then you don't have any way to get into the room. Secure your seat and if you want to upgrade and those of you who are ready, go ahead and secure your VIP seat. I forgot to tell you guys as well, but your seats are all a tax write-off and we 